you've probably heard the usual drill. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. Usually you can imagine picking it up or walking around it. In fact, if it's an it, you've got yourself a noun. But sometimes those things are hard to put your finger on. For example, in this sentence, all you need is love. Here, love is a thing, so it's a noun. But love can also be something you do. If the word love is used as an action, then it's a verb. I love you. So how can you tell if the word is a noun or a verb? Try the person, place, or thing test. Here's how it works. Can you substitute the word it for the word? If so, you've got yourself a noun. If you need an action to have the word make sense, you've got a verb. I am walking to the store. Can you substitute it for walking? I am it to the store. No, it makes no sense. In that sentence, walking is not a thing because you're doing it. It's an action. Action words are called verbs. What about this sentence? Walking is good for you. Let's try the test. It is good for you. Yes, in that sentence, walking is good for you. The word walking is a noun because it's a thing and you can replace it with it. Let's try another example. I like tennis. I like it. Yes, in that sentence, tennis is a thing, so it's a noun. But try this one. Tennis rackets are expensive. It rackets are expensive. No, in that sentence, the word tennis describes what kind of racket is expensive. So it's not being used as a noun. You can do tests with people and places to see if they are nouns too. Try out the it test on your own set of things. Justice, independence, poetry, history, the Galapagos Islands, Abraham Lincoln, and Attila the Hun are all nouns. Thank you.